it's 1958, and Soviet-backed China is in a deep conflict with the U.S.-backed Taiwan. U.S. President Eisenhower orders the Navy Sabres and Starfighters to aid Taiwan against China's MiG-15s. The superior MiG-15 can soar 2,000 feet higher than the Sabre, giving it an edge in dogfights as it can attack from above. However, all that is about to change. The Americans didn't come to the fight empty-handed, accompanying their fighter jets is their latest weapon, the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile. It is a heat-seeking missile capable of tracking its target across the sky. On September 24, 1958, China sent out a whooping 126 MiGs to attack the small island of Taiwan. Taiwan spots the threat early and is able to scramble 48 sabers. Although they are hugely outnumbered, Taiwanese pilots are confident because underneath their wings lies their new wonder weapon missile. As soon as the two sides get a visual of each other, they open up their cannons at a 9,000 feet separation distance. To take away the Chinese high number advantage, the Taiwanese pilots swiftly use their sidewinders and down six MiGs. Unknown to them, the Taiwanese pilots are about to find out that they made a huge blunder. One of the fired sidewinders hit a MiG-17 but failed to detonate, instead it got lodged in the fighter's airframe as the MiG flew back home. And just like that, America's short-lived advantage slipped between their fingers. Once the aircraft landed, Chinese engineers removed, disassembled the missile, before shipping it to the Soviet Union where it was reverse-engineered. A Soviet engineer later recounted, the Sidewinder missile was to us a university offering a course in missile construction technology. Finally, the Soviets had their own heat-seeking self-guided missile, the Vimpel K-13. They mass-produced and exported the weapon to their allies, in that in two years, the AIM-9 Sidewinder, it was the most prevalent air-to-air -air weapon worldwide. 